Mike's Daily Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Welcome to FFF so 2650. Mike's Daily Podcast. 2650. It's Mike Matthews. It's nifty. It's sometime during the summer. And you might be really hot and sweaty. And it's a bummer. But you know, if you have to, at the end of the year, call somebody who's thing he does is he's a plumber because the roots start to eat into your pipes and clog everything up. Mike's Daily Podcast. That's something that I don't look forward to at the end of every summer is calling the roto rooter guy. But here we go. Mike's It's Mike. Daily Did I just give a free plug podcast. to roto rooter Yeah! And the word plug was so difficult to say all of a sudden. But you know, yes, that's an issue I run into. And I got one of those like plumber type things that go into the snakes that go into the pipe and it's all mechanical, but I've had it seriously messed up before. So I don't know. Is it worth it to buy one of those things? I, I'm not thinking it is. But today there is a huge amount of excitement in the air because Taylor Swift performed last night and she's performing again tonight. In the Santa Clara, San Jose area, what we call the South Bay of the Bay Area, San Francisco, Oakland up towards the north, San Francisco on the west side, Oakland on the east side of the bay as you look at the map. And it is that time of year where you lip smack and go, wow, that's just... Mike's been doing a podcast now for 2,650 episodes, FF episodes. Not as long... As Taylor Swift has had a career though Because she got started in the mid-O's I remember a concert And as the program director I was in charge of Being the Head of a big promotions thing To advertise our radio station And here's today's podcast picture And we parked right outside of the concert But we weren't allowed to go into the concert Because a radio station That had been in the area for decades they were they, That was their spot They were the only ones allowed by the concert Which is stupid That whole thing was just ridiculous And that's just one of the things that makes me angry about Alabama Because that's where it happened I know The late great Basil the Boxer and I Were both angry about that Although wait I didn't have Basil yet when I was in Alabama But you can see a picture of him in the last podcast picture Episode 2649 The one that we called Eons Because I was thinking back to Eons ago When Taylor Swift first got popular And she was really big on the country charts So we sat there Giving away free barbecue barbecue sandwiches Uh, Let's see, it was pulled pork Pulled pork sandwiches There in Alabama Just outside of the really big Base that they have down there And they were having a concert On the base which I don't know exactly How that is even allowed but that's Alabama So We did that I woke up super early I had to do a live Remote from another location on the other Side of town on the other side I think about Maybe 30 or 40 miles away And then drive to this event and I was so Tired And I think my then wife and I had just had an argument earlier because she didn't understand why I had to work so hard. But I thought I said, you know, (laughs) I chose radio as my career long before I met you. And you knew that. And that's just how it was. So it was hot. It was a hot Alabama day. Mike, it's Mikey Fikey. And we the only place we could park was this area that the radio station had some kind of affiliation with. Somebody there was a client I think it was a barber shop And they had a big parking lot So we sat there And if anybody Would drive into the parking lot We would give them a free sandwich Well that required them To get out of line There was a big line With cars Big traffic jam If you if Oh no Traffic jams only happen in California Uh uh-uh. uh Alabama had some doozy Traffic jams And this was one of them So it required people to get out of line in their cars and drive over to get the sandwich. We were giving away T-shirts. Wine. Well, I like the whiny white man wine list. I remember coming home. 
That's right. And my then wife's mom and grandmother were visiting from California. That's right. Oh, what a horrible, horrible day. We were, so we were, you know, entertaining guests. And then I get home. I'm so tired. I just want to go to sleep. And the radio station goes off the air. So I had to go all the way from my house to the radio station. Was about a 20, 30 minute drive. But I was so tired. And oh, yeah. Not a wonderful day that day. Thanks, Taylor Swift, for causing all that headache. But thankfully, I don't work for any radio stations that are tailgating or tailor gating or whatever they're calling it. And actually, the city where the concert's taking place, they're not allowing tailgates officially. But they said also they have no way to enforce that rule. But she, like any place she goes to do a concert, brings in a ton of money to all the local hotels and restaurants. This is interesting. Wow, this is interesting. I was listening to a radio station playing nothing but Taylor Swift. And not just playing the hits, playing a lot of album cuts, as we call them. And she really has quite a repertoire. And... A lot of different styles. Her real country banjo Like every song she had had a banjo on it back in the early days. Because she was pop leaning that back then. But to pull her back into the country world, she had her country roots, definitely. Her family was living in Tennessee. But she was from, I think, a northern state originally, I forget. But she had... There was the, the producers for her early stuff... Is that the Shooter Jennings or whoever his name was? Shooter something. They were, that guy, that manager, put a banjo on everything. So a lot of her early stuff's got banjos or acoustic guitars or fiddle. Lots of fiddle. Lots of steel guitar to make it country. And then all that disappeared. (laughs) And it was all synthesizers and drum machines. And I'm a big fan of a lot of her stuff. I like style. You need to calm down. The anti-hero song I was quoting the lyrics When that song came out Going What? It's tea time Everybody agrees I, I, There was all kinds of Bizarre lyrics in that song To me So Would I want to go to the concert? I would If I didn't have to deal With the fans <laughs> They're not I mean they're wonderful people But it's just I hate dealing with traffic Concert traffic at 54, I've dealt with a lot of concert traffic over my years. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're we bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcast Drove Valley to the last place on earth. Hey, it's a Taylor Swift after party. And you know what also? It, I, I don't know how it got started, why we call her Tay-Tay. I don't get that, but it, it has definitely made it great for local radio stations. Because they'll throw a Tay in their name. First of all, I just want to just um, thank everyone for joining us here on this show. This is great. It's Mike Taylor's podcast, or so you know, it's easy to place in you know, the name of your radio station or your podcast. So yes, she's made herself very accessible. And back in the early days, she visited all these radio stations. I was one of them. Got to meet her real quick. Yeah. So. You know, success and glory could go to a much worse person. I think she deserves it. And if everybody's having fun and if it's making all the other boats lift up like the rising tide for good, for a good, I don't have a problem with it. If you know what I mean. I don't know exactly what that sentence was, but there you go. Outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Tin, the last place on earth. Tesla has been falling on margins. Their shares went down 6% after imprecise commentary from Elon Musk and insights into the Cybertruck, a planned robo-taxi ready car. Musk cautioned that Tesla would target 1.8 million vehicle deliveries this year, but that production will be a little bit down because we've got the summer shutdowns for factory upgrades. So Tesla slashed prices and their margins fell to 9.6% was the lowest results for at least the last five quarters. MTV News. You hear it first. So 
So I guess that's a little over two years. But Musk didn't offer precise delivery volumes for new Cybertrucks, only saying that the Cybertruck would be produced in high volume next year, with an unknown quantity being delivered this year. The Cybertruck does not have an open bed. What? There's no feasible way to mount racks. What? What's the point? You won't be able to use Cybertrucks to move ladders, haul drywall, or load anything that does not fit inside. So I had a pickup truck like that for a long time that had a camper shell on the back. And it was really only good for sleeping in. However, it was uh, very musky and icky in there because when it rained, the, the camper top thingy didn't really it wasn't sealed correctly so a lot of water dripped in and so it had an awful moldy smell hey hey it was really great you know there is a very bizarre country story country musician story involved with that if I may sing it now there was a country singer that was big as big as uh, Taylor Swift was at one point she had a number one hit on the country charts. Her name was Shelley Wright. Her song was called Single White Female. That went to number one. And she was visiting Ventura. She had just performed at a show in downtown Ventura. And she asked if, uh, you know, hey, can you take us to a bar by the beach? And I said, sure. So I took her and her friend in my car, but I said, I got to get some stuff out of the front seat. And I'm taking it to the back with that camper shell thing I was mentioning and I lifted up the little hatch that those little hydraulic hatches that always fall on your head they just don't stay up long enough and it unfortunately hit Shelly Wright's head and she joked about it later at a little concert she did for us later she said yeah Mike that's a nightmare of a show I'll never forget you because of that I said oops so it is uh those, uh, hopefully they make those a little bit stronger on the Cybertruck there with the Elon Musk. Elon Musk dated, or he was married to someone, I can't think of her, she's a British actress, but she starred in a Richard Curtis movie. Richard Curtis did Love Actually, also did a movie that I enjoyed because it kind of pertained to my line of work. Called Pirate Radio And she showed up in that Duwala Dulali It'll come to me in a second I might have to use a search engine Of some sort to remember her name But she So they divorced long ago This is before Grimes and everything else And she married A guy from another Richard Curtis movie uh, From Love Actually The kid That was uh, I guess was Liam Neeson's son or, or stepson And Yeah so those two recently got married I found out And she was also in a Doctor Who episode Where Wow Elon Musk's Wikipedia page Is huge Dang it goes on and on and on there's a legal matters section, a public perception. Uh, let's see. He was Tallulah Riley. Yes. Oh, wow. He's had an interesting personal life. He met his first wife, Canadian author Justine Wilson, while attending Queen's University in Ontario, Canada. They married in 2000. In 2002, their first child died of sudden infant death syndrome at the age of 10 weeks. After his death, the couple decided to use IVF to continue their family. They had twins in 2004, followed by triplets in 2006. What? They divorced in 2008 and shared custody of their five children. In 2022, one of the twins officially changed their name to reflect her gender identity as a trans woman and to use Wilson as her last name because she no longer wished to be associated with Musk. Musk blamed the estrangement of his daughter on what the Financial Times characterized as the supposed takeover of elite schools and universities by neo-Marxists. 
Then in 2008, that's when he began dating English actress Tallulah Riley. They married two years later in Scotland at a famous cathedral. In 2012, the couple divorced. But then they remarried the following year. After briefly filing for divorce in 2014. Fair and unbalanced. Then he dated Amber Heard for several months in 2017. He had reportedly been pursuing her since 2012. Johnny Depp later accused Musk of having an affair with Heard while she was still married to Depp. Musk and Heard both denied the affairs. And then we had Grimes and then okay. So yes, Tallulah Riley married the guy from, is this recently updated? Brody Sangster Thomas Brody Sangster They were working on something called Pistol So That's a TV show And that's uh, She was also Briefly in the TV show Endeavor Which I particularly like that show Right now We're watching Luther My lovely lady friend and I With Idris Elba I wonder if Tallulah will show up in that. She seems to show up in a lot of British shows that I watch. Later that day. Okay. Enough about that. So, Netflix, apparently business is good. They added 5.9 subscribers. It's two primary 2023 initiatives, cracking down on password sharing and launching a cheaper $6.99 per month advertising tier are bringing in new subscribers. It worked And they added 1.2 million subscribers In the United States That is its largest Regional quarterly gain Since 2021 Paramount Global And Comcast NBC Universal said 2023 will be the biggest Annual loss ever For their streaming businesses Let's see Paramount Is it called Paramount Plus And I think the NBC one is the Peacock channel, which is called Peacock. Netflix boosted its free cash flow. And they were recently going to raise prices too, Peacock. Netflix boosted its free cash flow estimate to $5 billion for the year. That's up from $3.5 billion. But the actors and writers strike is going to cut down on the content. On what's being spent on the content. For Netflix, streaming is growing. Cash piles are rising Advertising has Investors excited And they have a steady pipeline Of international content I know somebody who works there He must be happy I haven't talked to him lately Need to check up on him In fact he might be listening to this podcast Give me a call Vince Call the, call the line that uh, The Cafe Anyway line Which is 510 510- 228-4640 If you didn't know Netflix noted that the basic plan Which cost $9.99 And di- didn't feature ads Was no longer available for new Or rejoining members So I t- I quit Netflix Long ago I got so upset I'm like what's this stupid show What's this stupid show What's it I don't want What movie I don't want to see that movie I don't want to see that I'm just not into violent stuff Now my lovely lady friend loves it So she likes it Netflix But Because of all the content I'm not too happy with the content I quit it back At the beginning of 2018 But then I met her And I'm watching it again So dang It's got that kind of uh, You know An orbit That you can't escape Petco is coming to Lowe's That's right Inside of Lowe's Where they do the store within store thing Lately They've got a Petco Going to be showing up soon Don't know how much How much stuff That Petco will have Compared to a regular Petco But And frozen vegetable prices Are up 18% on average Over the past year Because of heavy winter precipitation Here in California We are the largest U.S. vegetable producer You're welcome It flooded farmlands and reduced crop supply Higher costs were then for cold storage And the war in Ukraine and immigration trends also are to blame This all from Rob Black I produce his podcast 
And uh, he does a Yeah, so if you want to find his podcast It is called The Rob Black Show You can listen to it anywhere He's got a lot of great content That he talks about uh, financial stuff Outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley Look, 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 look Who's here? It's not Taylor Swift Hi Matt, it's Benita the Rodeo Queen How ya do? It's a disgruntled field flare Tell you what What? You know, I remember back when it was all about Tanya Tucker. Tanya Tucker, this Tanya Tucker, that. Now it's all Taylor Swift, tight, tight. I mean, come on. Yeah. Trends, things happen. I don't think Tanya Tucker had as big a pop career. Dolly Parton, she had some pop hits. Like, uh, He'll Come Again, the, what's that one? And da 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 and working nine to five and I'll always love you and all that stuff. Oh, hilarious little side note. I was listening to a local radio station commenting on all the traffic being caused by the Taylor Swift concert and he goes, Yeah, a lot of traffic being caused tonight by the Taylor Dane concert. And I said, Taylor Dane, really? I'll always love you for the rest of my days. Prove your love Got to prove your love Tell it to my heart Tell me I'm the only one Honey, I'll be a shelter I'll be the one to get you through the night If you want to see a cool live performance of Taylor Dane doing that song Go to my YouTube channel MikeStaleyPodcast.com I think you can get to it through MikeStaleyPodcast.com Or you just go to uh, I think you just type in my name Mike Matthews And it'll pop up Or it's YouTube.com Slash Mike's Daily Podcast But Yeah I got a Playlist Of over a hundred songs It's called The Best Obscure Rock Songs Found by Mike Matthews And that's one of them Cause she rocks Taylor Dane Woo Okay Where else Who else is here Hello Mike I make the least Root beer How's the man Excellent. Let me try that right now because it, uh, you know. Mm. Oh, that's pretty bad. Oh. Kick it right now. Kick you. I just did and I, I regret it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We'll call that the oh, boy root beer. Oh, boy. Hey, you know what? It's time now for a great segment called Let's, let's go, go Back, back with, with Matthews. Matthews. <laughs> yes, let's go back with Matthews, with Mike Matthews. That'd be me. All right. Let's, let's go. go back to a time... In radio, when it was cool, when you were able to do all kinds of crazy fun stuff. I guess the radio station today that's playing nonstop Taylor Swift, that's pretty cool stuff. I guess there are some cool things happening today. But back in the day, I was on country radio and doing a little bit of an interesting thing. I would like to display to you some of the crazy things and goofy things and fun things we used to do. I recently found a bunch of cassettes. That were full of this stuff So I've been trying to transcribe it all digitally And this is going back 20 years ago you say that you 100.7 KHAY With KHA's Matt Michaels You guys met at the fair? At the county fair, yeah At the county, Ventura County Fair? Yes, sir, we did what were you guys doing? Were you raising I was in pigs? And, and she was just walking around, and I met her, and I gave her a stuffed animal, and we've been dating ever since. Oh, that's cute. Did you steal the stuffed animal, or how did you want it? I won it, and I won her a bigger one after that. Okay. All right, see now, because you want it, and that that shows that you've got uh, that skill. What was it? What game was it? It was the one where you picked the bottle up with the... Bottle, uh, that's pole? yeah, the fishing pole bottle thing. That's tricky. Yeah, it is, but we won. Oh boy! So, have you guys gone fishing yet? No, I haven't taken her. I don't think she likes fishing, but I'll get her into it. Did you get on, go on any of the rides that were really, you know, that made you want to vomit? I don't get sick on rides. Oh, you don't? No. Oh boy. Well, you're young. When you get older, a lot more fat is in between your ears, and when that wobbles, you get a little sick. <laughs> 
Till with Tim McGraw, just to hear you say that you love me. Blessed Martine McBride just before that. On the way next, Leanne Rhymes, and we'll get a special interview going with new artist Rodney Redman. He's on the Audium Records label, and we will hear some live music. He'll be playing for us at the KH Santa Fe Cafe. So let's go. We're leaving the KH studio, walking out to the Matt bus, and Felix the bus driver picking us up and taking us to the cafe. Yeah, where to, Matt? The... Cafe. Well, this is my night job. During the day, I remove tattoos. Oh, boy. That's good. One million dollars? Come here. Hey, hey. Hey! Welcome to the Santa Fe Cafe. Thank you, Joe. On 100.7 KHAY Ventura. It's Can You Talk Like a Robot Night at the cafe. We got Rodney Redman going to be in here in just a sec. Going to hear his new song and he'll be singing for you. And we're also going to hear from uh, Shania Twain, Rascal Flats, Alan Jackson, Brooks and Dunn's new one coming up to the Dixie Chicks. Right now, Leanne Rhymes, One Way Ticket Because I Can. This is Matt Michaels. Let's get this party started. This is Charlie with the Early Morning Country Club. Oh my gosh, Matt's got another phone call. Jesse? Yeah. That's just Jesse? Yeah. That's a guy named Kevin Denny. He's like this new guy. Okay, thank he, you. He's kind of scary looking. <laughs> he's, okay. No, actually, he's really good looking. But wouldn't that be funny if there was some new country artist that came out and you heard the DJ say, This is so-and-so and he's scary looking. <laughs> you should say that one time. <laughs> okay. Six, five. Aw, that was a young Taylor Swift who called me up. No, maybe not. Rodney who? Rodney Redman? I don't know who. What the heck ever happened to Rodney Redman on John and Charlie? Uh, I don't think either of them are in radio anymore. I hope they're both alive. I don't know. It's been a while. But yes, that was uh, radio back in Ventura 20 years ago. Oh, K-H-A-Y. It is Can You Talk Like a Robot Night at the KH Santa Fe Cafe. That was Rascal Flash and I, Twain, just before that. Coming up, Alan Jackson, Jody Messina's new one, Winona, coming up, too. And you and I are going outside to the parking lot of the KH Santa Fe Cafe to see how the parking situation is with Valentino, the parking attendant. Oh, damn, Matt, I don't know if you knew this or not, Day, but I am big friends with Anthony Daniels, Day. All right. Anthony Daniels plays C-3PO in all the Star Wars movies, Day. No. Yeah. And that movie, it's debuting in like uh, less than two hours, less than an hour and a half. That's right. In fact, I have him here in the parking lot right now. Okay. Anthony, wow, it's great to have you here. It amazes me how you've been playing the same part over and over again. But I had to lose about 10 pounds to get in this one, I tell you. It's oh. the same suit as I had 25 years ago. Same suit. And um, were they going to change it? No, Rick McCollum, the producer, said, you can lose weight. Oh, yeah, that's what my boss tells me every day. Ah. Oh. You know, I didn't tell you what the podcast picture was. It is of this cool bakery. I think it's called One House Bakery in Benicia. And it, they've got this amazing back area, back patio area that is covered with these plants and vines, but in this really nice, beautiful ah way. It, it could be, it can sometimes get pretty hot in Benicia, but it's always really cool because you're surrounded by plants and they're keeping you cool. It's amazing. So you can see that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. Now, I didn't mention the day today is National Lasagna Day. And you know lasagnas. They're wonderful. Not the healthiest thing. You can do kind of a healthy thing with it where you use squash instead of the noodles but yeah it's wonderful isn't it hopefully oh what i think we're going back to 2000 and no we're going past the 2000s past the 90s into the 80s nope no we didn't go that no this is 1990 and i think that's a little bit of roxette performing this is me 
one of my early radio jobs in Santa Barbara at Y97. Uh, this was in 1990. Wow. Most Music 197, we are talking now with Chubby D, who's coming back now from the Poison concert. <laughs> We're on our way back. We are on the 405 freeway. How you doing, Mike? Yeah, I'm fine. We just uh, hit number one a little while ago. It was Mariah Carey, Vision of Love. That was it. Yeah, that was it. We waited all the time for Mariah Carey, who's an excellent singer, I might add. But... She's kind of cute, too. I thought I saw her here tonight. Oh, yeah? We wouldn't believe some of the people that were there. We saw everybody there. And now we're cruising back about 75. We're, we're speeding. It's New Year's. Yeah, well, hurry up and get here, because I want to go home. Oh, really? You're not going to party with me? Maybe a little bit. All right. I got the up. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, man. Are we going to do the part, man, or what? Let's do it right now. Let's do the part, man, on your most music. It's Y97. See you in a minute, Mike. Do the part, man. Oh, my gosh, the Bartman. So this was New Year's Eve, 1990. So 89 had just ended. And that guy I was talking to, he later produced a Mariah Carey album, which is, that's very ironic that here I was kind of going, oh, we waited all this time for Mariah Carey. And then that guy, uh, Chucky D, is that what was, what, he later went by Demiza, I think was his name. And he produced a Mariah Carey remix and got popular. Also, he was a program director for Power 106 in Los Angeles for a while. But back then, he was just a kid. Nice guy. And we were working there t- t- together uh, on New Year's Eve, sort of. He was going to a Poison concert. The band, the rock band, Poison. Okay, one little more clip, and it will end the podcast. 97.5 KHGY playing the most music. That's Giant Steps and their latest yeah. Into You. And we are talking with Susie and Liz, the party twins. And, and and what are you two doing right now, Susie and Liz? We're molding at home. Molding? What are you molding? What? What are you molding? Um, some clay. Oh, and what are you making it into? My little sister. My, yeah, my sister. That should look interesting, eh? This is the latest from a, group, a woman named Enya. It's called Orinoco Flow. Sail away. Orinoco Flow? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this was from 1989. So they're here, technically, we're in the 80s. And Enya's first big hit. Wow. Oh, Enya. So, of all the girlfriends I had, to all the girls I loved before, Julio, Iglesias, but uh, a lot of them, for some reason, were Enya fans, I guess. So, why isn't Enya playing in San Jose tonight? Is my question. So that's a little bit of going back with Matthews, back as very young Mike Matthews there. But you can tell me what you think about the times, how they've changed, or how how, how have they stayed the same. You can call me 510-228-4640. And with more ways to reach me, here's A-Frame. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.